I took a quick look around the different seating areas. It was pretty busy, but the view out to the runway was really cool. Hey everyone, I'm Allie Millington with Narcity, and I'm about to head to Toronto Pearson Airport to fly to London. But before I do, I'm gonna be checking out the Plaza Premium Lounge at Terminal 3. I'm gonna be giving the lounge a score out of five in four different categories. So the first one is service. I'm gonna be looking at, you know, are people friendly? Are the staff welcoming? Do people all seem like they're being looked after well? The second one is food and drink. I'm going to be looking at, you know, what is the offering like? Is there a lot of choice? Is there something for everyone? But also thinking about how it compares to the food and drink offering in the rest of the terminal. Next up, I'll be giving a rating to the facilities. So what services are available there? What are the bathrooms like? What are the lounge areas like? And are there any other, you know, services or any entertainment on offer? Finally, I'll be giving a score to value. So how does the cost compare to what you'd spend in the rest of the terminal and am I happy with what I paid based on what I got? So come along with me and let's see how it goes. I was flying WestJet and I arrived at the terminal to some pretty long lines, so I wasn't feeling super optimistic about how the experience was going to go. The check-in line was crazy long because the bag drop wasn't working. It took over an hour, so I don't even know if I'll make it to the lounge at this point. Luckily, security was much faster than check-in and I was soon following the signs to the Plaza Premium Lounge. Okay, so I just found out that there are two Plaza Premium lounges in Terminal 3 and I was at the wrong one. So I'm headed to the other one now, which is apparently closer to my gate. One is specifically for international travelers, while the one I was in was for domestic travelers. So I turned around and headed to the other one. Once you get towards Seagates, you follow the signs for the Plaza Premium Lounge and then take an elevator up one floor. It only took a few minutes to get inside. I was pretty short on time, so the staff let me pay $33.90 for one hour of access. You can reserve a spot online in advance, or you can pay at the door, and you can pay more depending on how long you want to spend in the lounge. I took a quick look around the different seating areas. It was pretty busy, but the view out to the runway was really cool. I then headed to the bar, which had a bit of a lineup, but it didn't take too long to get a drink and the staff were really friendly. House wines, beers, and spirits are included in the entry fee, but there is a separate menu if people want to order more premium drinks. Next, I checked out the food offering. It was set up buffet style and there were soft drinks, baked goods, fruits, and a selection of hot and cold dishes available. Since I didn't have a ton of time, I tried some of the salads and some cheese and I polished things off with a pretty tasty cookie. I got a comfy armchair seat right in front of the runway, which had an armrest and a useful power outlet as well. I had read that there was a shower room, but it was occupied when I went to check it out, so I didn't get to see inside. There was also a massage and well-being area that seemed to be out of service as well. The bathrooms were so much nicer than the ones you find in the rest of the terminal though, so that was a plus. Before I left, the staff gave me a quick look inside the business class section of the lounge, which was similar but a lot quieter, with its own private bar and a slightly different but much smaller food selection. So I made it to London, and overall, even though I didn't get a ton of time in the lounge, I'm still really glad that I visited. All of the staff, from people at check-in, serving food, serving drinks, clearing up, were really, really friendly and helpful, despite it being really, really busy in airports right now. It also seemed like there were quite a lot of employees, which was great. No one had to really wait too long for anything, and they were doing a good job of keeping it tidy. I would give service a 5 out of 5. Moving on to food and drink. So while the quality of the food was pretty basic, there were a lot of options. And the fact that it was buffet style meant that people could go back for more if they were hungry. Bar options were actually really solid. The house wine was Jackson Triggs, the house beer was Molson Canadian, and there were some house spirits as well. And all of that was included in the price. I would give the food and drink offering a four out of five. I liked the lounge area by the runway the best. It was a little more relaxed, a little more luxurious. The seating areas by the buffet or by the bar were a little bit hectic and stressful for me, um, but again, maybe better for a family or a larger group. Uh, the bathrooms were really clean, much better than what you'd find elsewhere in the airport. So that was a bonus for me, but it was a shame that the shower room was out of service, that the massage and well-being rooms were out of service because I didn't get to see what that offering was like. There was Wi-Fi, I didn't use it, I didn't have time, um, but you know, also useful because airport Wi-Fi can be a little bit spotty. Uh, but ultimately to me, this is a place to just relax, to kind of unwind, maybe refresh before your flight and hopefully land feeling a bit better than you would have otherwise. Um, so overall, I give the facilities a three out of five. Finally, value. This is the real selling point for me. 
I spent $34 for an hour in the lounge. You spend around $55 for two hours, depending on if you book online or you book um, when you show up in person. Um, but you know, considering everything included and then considering the fact that you'll pay around $15 for just a glass of wine elsewhere in the terminal, if you're planning to eat and planning to have a few drinks before your flight, this is really, really awesome value. So I give value a five out of five. All of that in mind, I would give Toronto Pearson's Plaza Premium Lounge in Terminal 3 for international travelers a four out of five. Really solid value, decent food and drink offering, pretty comfortable. And if I was planning to, you know, need to kill a couple of hours and wanted to eat something and have a drink, it's really worth it. And I definitely go back. Thank you so much for watching and happy traveling. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our Narcity channel to see more content just like this.